and he will not be silenced in the face of violence. In the city where the Reclaim the Night protests began in the 70s, anger is once again spilling over. The Court of Appeal might have ruled the Crown Prosecution Service isn't dropping more challenging cases to improve its success rate, but something is failing. These women have all experienced harassment or assault. And Hyde Park, the area where all of our, the student houses are in, there's countless incidents every day of women being attacked or harassed by men and it's just seen as normal, no one does anything about it. If you report it to the police, they don't do much. You just have to accept that it's like everyday occurrence of life. Would you consider going to the police if you were assaulted? I've been sexually harassed since I was 13 years old. I've been to the police about this type of, about sexual harassment and assault and I received very little support Nothing came about it, and it was it is a very difficult experience to go through that system. So, yeah, I don't have any faith. The figures bear their feelings out. In England and Wales, rape prosecutions fell by over 30% in a year to the lowest level on record. The number of convictions, too, down by over 25%. Overall, less than 2% of rapes recorded by police resulted in any action. And that means there are still plenty of questions for the CPS. Despite the ruling as a woman, do you understand why so many people feel it's just not worth reporting these crimes? I will say that there are dedicated specialist prosecutors dealing with these cases day in, day out with the, in the CPS. Is it fair to say that over the past decade, the criminal justice system as a whole has been failing women? We need to see improvements in this area. I really welcome the fact that this is a priority for my own organisation, that it is a priority for the police, and there is a broader conversation taking place. But there are many failings behind this crisis. The same decade of austerity that's seen specialist rape units disbanded in some police forces has also left parks like this one barely lit in the evening. All of it contributing to a sense that women's safety is far from a priority. As night falls in Leeds, the anxiety women feel on the streets still not matched by any real fear of consequence or penalty for many offenders. Rachel Younger, ITV News, Leeds.